Here is another example of, a, of an attack using these powerful hashes that we got. Look at the first video of this series to see how we got that part. In order to get information from a domain controller without having any user interaction. It's actually, we have the domain controller here, we have ATA clean there, we open a command window and we're going to issue this command. Let me explain the command, w, uh, pass the hash, to be a WMI, this is the domain controller machine, that's the hash of the administrator, which is key for the attack, that's the IP address of it, and then I'm doing a select, I'm doing a query, give me all the user accounts that are in that domain controller and here you have them. I mean and that's just one of the many things that we can actually do with that. Now let's go and see what QReader can see, can detect out of this. And we got an offense. Let's actually take a look at the rule and I'm gonna make some comments about it. Notice that the rule is detected authentication using NTLM version 1. No modern device, and this has been for years, the case, uses or should use NTLM version 1. If it does, it can be a malicious thing. However, if you have a lot of old devices running in your environment that still use NTLM version 1, I wouldn't recommend you to put this rule because it's going to generate a ton of uh, false positives. And Perhaps for that reason, because NTLM is still used, ATA does not catch any of this.